You're listening to the very 60th episode of the Celtic Crack Podcast. <laughs> That was definitely very loud, wasn't it? Yeah, was. it was. How did that happen? I don't know. You oh, can come oh, back oh, over oh. from the other side of the room now. The music is over. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah. Oh, man. That Big was, shocking intro. That was loud AF. No Sorry about that. It sounded loud to us anyway. Ooh. Yeah, but sure. Know. It's late. Like, do you know what I mean? It's late when this person is listening. Like, so just to wake them up, isn't it? Yeah, and exactly. And it's our 60th, so we're obviously losing yeah. our hearing as well. It's our 60th. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Leave happy, us alone. Happy 60th. Put on, come happy. on, Eileen. <laughs> <laughs> Episode 60. Um, yeah, fucking, I've ordered, um, thanks to some of the listeners' generous donations, I've ordered a new piece of hardware as well. No, another bit of equipment for the studio. Mike is nearly after fucking the whole thing up there. <laughs> um, yeah, I ordered some more equipment anyway, so to help out with sound and shit, managing the sound and all that. So no. hopefully I have that during the week and try and get it set up, figure out how to use it and all that stuff, you know? So we won't be deafening yeah. people like? Yeah, hopefully, yeah. It. Yeah, what yeah. kind of dis- distributes the sound better? Does it? Yeah, it does a lot of things. It's um, it kind of, it's there's a compressor, a gate, like a noise gate, and yeah. a limiter, so it'll limit the sound from so getting too loud. <laughs> yeah, we're hopping off the limiter. No, it stops. It stops the sound from it getting sounds, too loud. From bottom and out. So like. if you scream or anything like it, yeah. it'll bring it back down. You, know, you can't um, you can't clip the audio at all. Like yeah, yeah and then yeah. It, there's compression in there as well, like to make your Kind of give you that old radio voice. Oh. You know? and then Jeez, man, you should have told me. I would have <coughs> kept it down if you just asked. Like, you didn't have to go away and buy this thing. Like, yeah, yeah. Look. no, but there's <coughs> there's a um, noise gate in as well, like which I'm hoping will help with that fucking that shit with the you know, the, bit of, well, the, in, the, the intro, intro music goes. Yeah, roll, 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 mm. roll, roll. so there's a uh, yeah. So cheers to everyone who donated. The intro music is powerful. I give it mm. that because sometimes mm. I'd have my ringtone volume up too loud. Yeah. Yeah. So my ringed in. It's like whoa. It's a fucking <laughs> Dave Orwin shredding on an yeah. electric guitar. Like yeah. he wasn't messing about. No. Um, if you want so, that yeah. ringtone, get it on the cheers. website. Yeah, the website or uh, the fucking. I was just about to say the website is available on the internet. Yeah. The um, that ringtone is available. Yeah, on ccpodcast.ie. Um, uh, all yeah. the links are on there and all the way. Feeling the love this week from a few listeners. We've had a few listeners sign up to our Patreon account during the week. Fair play to So I've got to give a shout out to Michael Meehan. I think he was the first one. I think we mentioned mm. him last week. Legend. He's over there in the US of A. And then Sound Cunt Macaulay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> John Macaulay. His name is actually Sound Cunt. Did he put it in a Sound Cunt? <laughs> yeah. Sound Cunt Macaulay. He is a Sound Cunt, though. He is a Sound Cunt after I've had that, dealings yeah. with John Macaulay now before and he's fairly sound. To I have myself. Like, yeah. Hi, John Macaulay. How are you? Thanks. And yeah, I think it was the same fella actually years ago helped me out when I um, fucked up with my Integra Type R. I snapped the bolt. Was I saying that to him? I'm sure it was. Do you want to help you out? Yeah, he yeah. gave me I a. I doubt um, it. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't sound like him. Nah, in the clue. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm sure it was him anyway. Yeah, he gave me um, a spare bolt so oh, I could yeah. put my, oh, rock, put my rocker fucking, cover back on. He had a uh, Dark Vitek um, EM1. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, shout out to Dermot Quirk as well, another fine patron of the podcast. Dermot. Dermot is, I forget where he is actually, somewhere up the country, isn't he? He's a legend. He is a legend. Oh, I think hmm. he might be in Kerry actually. Oh, he yeah. said something about Kerry anyway. And uh, Kevin O'Connor over in Canada. Fair with play. A fucking serious pledge. Do their heads really bop around the place like in Terence and Philip? I don't know, guy. <laughs> yeah. I'm not your buddy, guy. I'm, I'm not, not your, your friend. G- I'm not your guy, friend. <laughs> uh, yeah, come here. We might as well do um, one or two more. I'll get my shout outs out of the Should way. Hold tights. While we're, while we're going. Uh, okay, just before I do the shout outs, I just want to tell people about this little event that's going on in Cantork in County Cork, Saturday night, the 29th. It's uh, an event for breast cancer awareness. A few truck drivers are dressing up as women and they're going shaving their heads and getting legs and eyebrows and everything's waxed. Any excuse, lads. Um, <laughs> yeah. For like, yeah, I swear we don't like this. It's just, um, <laughs> just to make money. Nah, but they're raising money for, um, breast cancer awareness and there'll be spot prizes and everything like that and by the looks of um, Snapchats and stuff like that that these lads will be putting up it looks like it's going to be a fucking a great crack um, so you can follow Noel Graney on Snapchat it's uh, N Graney 9 is his Snapchat name G-R-E-A-N-E-Y 9 N Graney 9 no, um, and Granny Nine, um, yeah. So should be a good old laugh. But uh, I was on to him, I was talking to him there a while ago, and he just asked me to give it a mention. So anyone who'd like Sound. to know more about that, give him an ad on Snapchat or a follow, or even if you want to ask me any questions, and I can pass them on and ask him. Thank you. Sweet as. Um, Sweet no, as. No, I have bro. one or two more hold tights, but I don't know where they are. 
actually while you're looking um yeah. there's um there, there were just the patrons that i showed it out i also have to give a shout out to gavin crosby uh limerick by nice Wait, one Gav? for uh sharing the old uh sharing spreading the word on the podcast and getting people to listen oh yeah um and also dave over there in sydney oh right, dave was on to me a while ago fucking all over the world lads i always get to, i always save the people's names for the whole tights but i yeah jeez i'm full of gas sorry <laughs> um yeah i never actually remember what we were talking about or anything but anyway shout to mike cremens whoop whoop big up mike cremens shout to dear maloney Dermot Maloney, Dermot and Maloney, also yes. a shout to Becca Downs, who I nearly forgot. Oh, Becca, yeah. Becca How could Downs. you forget about Becca? Becca told me something a while ago. Will yeah. we get it going, we? Oh, yeah, sure. Fuck it, Jamie. Yeah, might as well. We have treats. Treats for y'all. I'm treats fucking gasping, lads. I never brought a drink. Don't have drinks. Don't have drinks. No fucking salty things. Probably. Oh, no, <laughs> Did you hear about these? Have you seen this? Have you heard about this? Show me. Tato have unveiled some new questionable... Flavors beef, beef stew, stew flavor potatoes, right? Beef on, stew, on. as That's in fair enough, as in Irish the stew, Irish like. stew yeah, yeah. and bacon and cabbage <laughs> flavor. Oh, I'm getting on a horn. <laughs> bacon and cabbage <laughs> flavor, fucking. As a true Limerick potatoes. man, that is after getting me highly aroused. So me and Stooge a while ago went to about that many shops yeah. separately. Looking for these. Text Couldn't each other. No, don't have them here. No, yeah. do get them. No. Voice messages. I sent a lot of Snapchats around to a couple of friends and a couple of uh, people didn't know. And Paul Fitz went like this. Literally <laughs> sent me back a <laughs> picture. Shrugged his shoulder. shoulder. That's DJ Paul Fitz. And um, Becca told me where to get them. So hold tight to hold Becca. Hold tight, Becca. Um, yeah, so we try them, we. Right. Yeah, for, yeah anyone, for anyone listening outside of Ireland that's not familiar, like Tato is just fucking Ireland's biggest brand for potato crisps or whatever we want to call them crisps crisps, yeah. crisps potato crisps. chips um because there actually are a few foreigners who's the guinea pig like. oh man so yeah they're after bringing out bacon that. and cabbage flavor potato sure. crisp thing yeah i think oh, they did give me one i tried this bitch i think they did um like york where you text in we all have to taste them now i think they did <laughs> york where, where you have to like vote and uh favorite the one that gets the most votes gets made into a real flavor so they get they come up with bacon and cabbage and beef stew what's the test like can't no, you can't, <laughs> can't hit. hear me crunching. No, 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 no. That's bollocks, man. I'm very disappointed. What's They're nice, like? but they just taste exactly like smoky bacon. Sure. Are you serious? Yeah. I'm not getting one hint of cabbage anyway. Keep your mouth back from that mic now, Russell. <laughs> Do <laughs> not chew into the mic because I <laughs> will fucking snap. <laughs> There's an extra 40 <clears throat> minutes in the gym tomorrow. Turn off his microphone now, Mikey. I have a serious case of misanophobia. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're looking at him, Mike. They're just. Yeah, have you tried them yet? Watch it now. No, not yet. Well, get it, get it, get it. All right, all right. Just all right. Not um, bad. it's a no for me anyway, Pedro. <laughs> <laughs> Ross's face is. Oh, a minute. Oh, I was meant to take a snatch out of this as well. <laughs> ah, right. Get my own fucking thing going as well. Fuck's um, sake. Yeah, fucking. No, um. Watch think, Russell. No, bacon and cabbage flavor, potatoes. No. Shall no. we chance them? They're just, um. Smoky bacon. Aren't they? No. No. They're disgusting. Like I think so. They're, yeah. they're, they're leaving a bit of a weird aftertaste in my mouth now, to be fair. It's going to be some serious farting in the world. They taste like cabbage. I forgot we were I didn't get the episode there. <laughs> yeah, I didn't get any um, any hint of cabbage now at the start, but I'm getting Don't a weird Mikey. aftertaste that might be... Might be a hint of cabbage. Yeah, they're always know. reminding me of... Mikey's like, assistant is just bringing over his ones now. Two seconds. <laughs> What's it reminding you of? Oh, I'm getting a Don't. serious bang of cabbage after yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Do you ever know when you leave cabbage stew inside in the pot and you have it that night? Yeah. That's what it tastes like. Yeah. I think leftover cabbage. It tastes kind of like cabbage yeah. water, doesn't it? Wow. They should be called cabbage water flavour. It's not mm. going well for tea, though. No Which one's going to beef stew, so... I'm interested in this now because I love beef stew. I have a feeling I know exactly what they're going to taste like. Beef stew? Do you know those hula hoops? What are they called? Or is it beef oh, flavour or yeah, something? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Barbecue beef. Even the fucking... The, the package, package even the package is brown. Oh, I'm going to take one with loads of dust on it. Which all the dust on that one? Ah, buzz. Ah, buzz. Got a top loaded one. Is it the head off hula hoops? Head off it. Yeah. Is it the image of hula hoops? Very, is it, very axe same. Is it, is it a credit to hula hoops mother? Ah, oh, what's the size of that little one? <laughs> wait a minute. No, here, wait a minute. Shit That's there. what she said. Yeah. But then I said, it's not about the size of the boat. It's the motion in the ocean. Well, beef shoe, what do you reckon? Yeah. Rotten. <laughs> Stop tuning into the mic. 
<laughs> yelling at the mic. Your beard is weird. <laughs> I won't be having Dead. them with uh, ham and cheese, I know. No. In bread. Oh, oh yeah. Here, I, I must try Yeah, them. they're the very same as the hula hoops. Do you know the ones I'm on about? No. They're beef flavor or something. <laughs> we're so polite that we're all leaning way <laughs> back from the microphones, chewing it. No. I can't stand it. way nicer. Mikey. Yeah, they're like... Um, they're like an alley know. version of the hula hoops. Two swings and misses, like I think they're no. Mm. To be fair, like I don't think either of them are bad. I yeah, eat, but I wouldn't, eat them, I but wouldn't I, sit down eating them. Like, I I just look, like, like when uh, I yeah, when I saw the the flavors, I was like, oh, these are going to be fucking. That's going to be mad. Like, how is that going to taste? And then I taste them, and I'm just like, oh yeah, I've tasted these before. Yep. Do you reckon, Mikey? Yeah, the beef is alright. I, I prefer that now to the cabbage. One hundred percent, but kind of still reminds me of smoky bacon or or the you know the bacon potatoes. Mm. Cool. That, that that one does in the rest. Yeah, uh, yeah. That tater do, is it? Yeah, yeah. yeah they do smoky Best bacon. Before yeah. that, 2nd of June 20. All I know is on the 2nd of June 20, there's a lot of them getting thrown in 10 and center after. There's no one's going in. People will buy them, all right. Uh, oh, sorry, yeah. What sorry, yeah. about a tater sandwich with them? That's why I said I the won't be having them with ham and cheese and I bread. would. No. I'd, I'd put nearly any kind of tater with If sandwich. anyone, um, oh, yeah, fuck fucking yeah. hell, if anyone doesn't know, Stooge tried Banshee Bones in a fucking yeah, sandwich, yeah. like vomit. I've tried most things, man. Hula what hoops about? as well, everything. Me? You've someone tried hula hoops? Someone hunky said, yeah. dories, hunky dories, yeah. I'm loving them. I, yeah, or yeah, tato, of course. Tato, 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 or hunky I have dog. them King. all the times. Or okie dokies. Mm. So, uh, or O'Donnell's. Or O'Donnell's. Or O'Donnell's. O'Donnell's oh, 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 oh. are fucking hog hog. Or O'Donnell's are serious. Kettles. Oh, 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 Kettle oh. chips. Yeah. Beautiful, man. Oh. McCure's, no? Yeah, mm. yeah, they're nice too, yeah. Mm. Fucking crisps. Yeah. Or the Mar- Rally, I didn't say... Yeah. The Mar- Rally, there was no... There was an old woman on a... Old woman on a rocking chair in front of him. Yeah, yeah. She was doing this. She was. Trying up to West Side Symbols. Trying it up. Um. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I wouldn't. They're be, all right. I wouldn't be going into the shop buying them now. I feel a bit let oh, down now. Yeah. yeah. To be honest, I was expecting more from the old bacon and cabbage. Why don't they like. just go in and do the chocolate again mixed with them? Because I never got to sample that. The bear. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's actually nice. Yeah. I came across them somewhere again recently. Not recently, but ages ago. Dirty man. It's mad the way everyone lost their mind about that. Like for years, I've just been buying a bear of chocolate and a bag of potatoes and just eating them together anyway. Oh, I know, but they put them in. But I think that the potato. Oh yeah, people don't know what we're talking about. Some people, yeah, they um, some the tater the same brand brought out a bar of chocolate infused with the taters inside, and it broke up little bits of tater crisps inside in the chocolate, and they're very rare to get. It's easier, it's way easier to get a nine bar of oh, hash yeah. than it is to get one of those. <laughs> yeah. Like I could get a nine bar tomorrow, but I couldn't get one of those tater chocolate bars tomorrow unless I go to where's it killed there. I don't know. Is that what Taylor Park is? Well, she acting all cool, like you can get nine bars. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> could, like, <laughs> Most people anyone could. could, like. I'm sure if you ask the wrong you me. definitely, definitely could, like. Not, yeah. I'm not saying like I know someone that has nine bars, but like if you went into town and said, "Man, I need to get a nine bar. Where do I get one?" Someone would be like, "Yeah, come on, so." When it's Limerick City, you know, you'll be sent straight to a cop. <laughs> a cop, <laughs> cop. Maybe if we're in America, yeah. you might get sent to a cop. I'm watching too much TV. Not bro. in Limerick, you might get sent to a shed. All right. Yeah, well, He's a shed over there. Yeah. But you'd be set up, I know. You wouldn't want to be going around broadcasting it in this city. I know. I'm looking for a nine bar. Yeah, but I'm not looking for a nine bar. <laughs> I don't even know what a nine bar is. What are you talking about? I have about? to go on completely off track, and I was going to say something there related to what you were talking about. I was as well. You they, were talking about the the brought out those bears. Mm-hmm. And, oh yeah, yeah just um, they were limited edition. These taters are limited edition as well, yeah. apparently. But so they want them. Um, that want edition won't that. be unlimited. <laughs> I can tell you, <laughs> yeah, because they're not, they're not special. Like they're just no, like, oh, nah. t- I bet you everyone that's buying them is just buying them to taste them and then never get them again. Mm. Yeah, of course. Yeah. But anyway, as I was saying, so I tried one, two, three, four, five. I think I think I tried five places for or six places for the potatoes, and then I found them in the seventh place, or maybe I found them in sixth place or something like that. So that was grand. How many places did you try? Uh, about three, I'd say. He tried yeah. about three, so two places he tried. Um, <laughs> and then I was coming in and just before, even try. <laughs> just before I came here, then I went to the shop to get a drink, walked into the shop. There was a fucking, they were selling them in there too. Yeah. Oh my God. And the last fucking, do you know what? And I only happened to be going into the shop to get a drink like. <laughs> the fucking always joke. There. Always there when they're not looking from, they're there. Yeah. No, they're disgusting, man. I <laughs> <laughs> I was where you're looking from. I was when you're looking from. That's where they're going to be. Yeah. Nah, they're disgusting. <laughs> I wouldn't advise anyone. I know. I would taste them away. Here a few weeks ago, I was doing nothing but saying, "Yes, have a tater sandwich there with ham and cheese and even a bit of coleslaw." What oh. are you going to have with them? No, in a sandwich. Not coleslaw anyway. 
Rather have washing powder. A bit of carrot and a bit of onion and whatever, man. Just, just spud. fucking yeah. roast potato, bacon yeah. and cabbage. Yeah, a bit of mashed potato, parsley and sauce, bread, mm. and a few of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah the white sauce. They should have yeah, a little. Um, I fucking um, a little portion of that side in it. Imagine. I'd fucking like talking about making sandwiches. I'd put just about anything in bread, like. Take them away, they don't make sandwiches. As in, like, if I like something, I'd eat it in bread. Do you know? No matter what? Like, yeah, more or less, like. Would you put spaghetti bolognese in bread? I never have, but I would, like. Spaghetti, yeah. Why not? Beautiful. Fam. Pasta carbonara. I never have, but. Pasta carbonara. No, I've never put anything like that in there, but like... But I, would I you, like, would you, you put anything yeah, in? Do you know what like, I do? A fanny. It's like that night. <laughs> 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 dipping dippin soldiers, isn't it? Well, no, come on, no. <laughs> <laughs> the dollar meal, man, the spaghetti. The what? If that night, if... <laughs> <laughs> dice it up and fry it. <laughs> when dice up what? When's the yoda dollar meal, then? Yeah. <laughs> dice I'll up a jar of dollar meal? No, dice up the spaghetti. Say if you... It was wrapped in cling film and you didn't get tea that day. Yeah. But that night then... Oh, so it's already cooked, like. It's already cooked, yeah. Okay. Dice it up then, pure tin and small, and put it back into the frying pan and fry it all up. Mm. Rub it with pepper and all that. And then have it with bread and a glass of milk. I tell you one thing. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Tell you. We need to um, stop talking about food, though, because we're <laughs> making me and everyone that's listening hungry. Yeah. I'm I was in Finnegan's hungry. already today, anyway. So that was one complaint I got the last time we were talking about all the different sandwiches and all yeah. people were like, we're fucking starving listening to you. Ah, <laughs> uh, fuck it. I wish. It's like watching Big Bang Theory. That's all they do inside and it is eat. And if you're on a diet or anything, you know, I wouldn't recommend it. Mm. That's all they do is eat. Yeah. They're all sitting around talking, uh, eating. Well, and oh, and Big Bang Theory is sponsored by Just Eat That Eat, isn't it? <laughs> it was uh, anyway. Yeah. See what I mean? Clever. We're not sponsored yeah, by anyone. What's your man's name? Aaron. There's a fella called Aaron that's working up in um up in Finnegan's. Aaron. Aaron. I was up there a while ago and I came out and found a fucking phone a tenner on the ground. Straight away, like literally finished my food, went up and paid, walked out the door, phone a tenner, <laughs> put it on my story, and a fella replied to me. Then he was like, Oh man, I walk in there. I didn't see him. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I shout out to Aaron. You're Ta- not getting your tenner back. <laughs> yeah, I thought he was going to try and claim it. Oh, no, man, a few people mine. did. One, yeah. one fella goes, uh, One fella goes, That was mine, man. It lasted a while ago. Someone else didn't wrap. Oh yeah, another person wrote back. But the fellow who said it was mine, it lasted a while ago, wrote back, Have you paid, pal? <laughs> 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 As if he was going to send him back the tenner. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. No, too fair. You lose, you lose. It's good, no. It was weird. Does it have number 10 written on it? Yeah, that was my yeah. one. That's it. Pink one. Definitely. Send them back a photo of another one. Does it look like that? Look, there's proof I owned it. No. It says copy oh. in the corner of it. Yeah. Oh. Who had that to that? Me. It was just fucking someone showed it to me. Like, so copy just, and paste. Someone got caught with it, like, in the place where they work or whatever. So I was just like, man, how? Like, like just wasn't paying any attention. <laughs> it was like basically a photocopy of a 20, like, like and it just said copy movie. on the back. Even, do you know the, the tinfoil stripe thing down mm. the side or whatever the fuck it is, tinfoil? I suppose it is kind of tinfoil, is it? Yeah. I don't know. But um, yeah, that was just like a, a pure photocopy. It wasn't one bit shiny or anything. <laughs> like, And it said copy on the back of it. Like, pure it was obviously prop, just prop, prop money, money from a bank yeah. or some shit like that. I don't know. But, or from um, someone making it rain in a film. Yeah. On top yeah. of a stripper's arse or something. Yeah, apparently there was a load of that going around there recently. Did you hear about that? Movie money or something it was. They were supposed to have been seriously realistic. Like, Yeah. Yeah. Did you hear about it now? Yeah. yeah, there was a bit of a flying around limerick anyway. I heard about it. Movie money or something they were calling it. I think it was supposed to be like used in movies, but it, people were fucking, someone got their hands on it anyway. Is there any it's, around now or is there a drought? I don't know. I haven't heard of it now in a while. It's illegal to use real money on camera. Yeah. yeah. What? Even if, you, if you're watching Pawn Stars or anything like sure, that. Say that's all fucking fake money over why? the counter. I don't know why it's just illegal to show legal tender on camera for some reason. I like the way you said Pawn Stars though and not just a normal... Hollywood movie, Mikey. <laughs> yeah, yeah but sure. pawn stars is when they're counting out money and shit. Do they? Yeah. Or pawn stars? Yeah, I, thought I said pawn. <laughs> <laughs> you never of seen pawn stars? Did. Told you it's the sixtieth episode. I'm losing my hair. Did you not see pawn stars before? I did, John. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah but a, you know that it's a show, like, <laughs> yeah. but you still went up. that show, though, man. You just never know what's going to come through that show. Like, <laughs> <Yeah. done. laughs> <laughs> fucking thing man when yeah. I went to Vegas loads of people were saying to me like man you have to go down and see that pawn shop I was like it's a fucking pawn shop I like yeah, go down and take pictures I was like fuck that there's a million other things I'm going shooting machine guns and shit yeah. and watching and the fights way they have it set up, yeah. Yeah. yeah the way they have it set up then it's like if the person just walks in the door yeah, well, all yeah. them are seen of course, go through yeah. a few stages before they even oh, get to them of course them. Yeah, yeah it's like the X Factor same shit mm. but but I, I got a buddy who knows the thing or two about these let me give him a call yeah like, you have a buddy who knows about dildos? <laughs> <laughs> Freak. 
He's always there, then, and in a few minutes, he must be waiting around the corner. No, I know, that's, yeah. That's, that's Eden. I know. Yeah. <laughs> like, I got a buddy three hours away if you want to just stand here and wait. Yeah, imagine that. Yeah. That's the whole episode. Yeah. Yes, to the end of the episode. We're out of time. A friend's still not here. Yeah, we'll see you yeah. next week if he turns up. He texts me. He's in traffic. <laughs> or tell him I have a friend that knows about that and then end the show when at night time you might still wait yeah. outside the show <laughs> <laughs> to be continued your man is sleeping yeah. in his jeep outside <laughs> yeah. yeah their gas half the time is like we were only watching it the other day and a fella came in he was like I'm hoping to get about a thousand for this and he was like oh, I don't know much about it I call my friend his friend comes down this is worth around six to eight thousand yeah. so as soon as he walked away he was like so how much do you want for it and he was like ah well about six thousand like, <laughs> yeah. you said one a minute ago <laughs> yeah your man didn't offer him would say four or something like that you know to make a bit of money off it mm. and uh, he was like oh I don't know and he was like you came in here looking for a thousand quid and I'm offering you four or five like, and you're not taking it you know the yeah, it's gas alright my father makes me laugh because when he watches it he'd be watching them and they'd be selling it and he'd be like mad to get back to the casinos and all <laughs> yeah. so that's probably true Vegas, as well yeah. It is. yeah it's a fucking joke of a place man. yeah they're inside yeah. they're selling their, their valuables just to get back to the casino trying to win back that money mm. just Chasing get one the dream. more go one more go and I'll get it this time yeah <laughs> See, um, Louis Theroux did a documentary about it where he was talking to people over there like, oh man, there was one woman, she was wealthy anyway, and all she was doing was spending all her days inside in the casino just throwing money in, and her son was snapping. He went and talked to her son, he was like, well, it's my inheritance, you know, and uh, all she's doing is just throwing it into those machines all day. (laughs) And he was like, would you not have a word with her? And he was like, I've tried, but like, it's her money, I can't really tell her not to spend it. She was blowing through millions, like, yeah, she's in there like doing like, you know, some of these slot machines are a hundred quid a go, like. So not like 50 mm. cent or whatever over here, putting in hundreds at a time and yeah. shit. Pull the fucking lever and that's it, a hundred quid gone. Be a bit more expensive than better money ones. Like, I they have the one cheap one ones as well. Like, but. This woman, not the way they have these big slot machines and if you win it, you hit a big like you're talking, mm. 15, yeah, yeah. 16 million. She ended up doing that. Won it. I think it was about 16, 17, whatever it was, I know it was big money. She ended up gambling it all back. And now she's doing 10 years in prison because she ended up stealing from her uh, mother and father-in-law Fuck. and everything to cover the gambling. She, that, that'll sick. tell you a lot. That's a mad fuck. If, yeah. if, I, if I was over anyway, I'd be at them fucking five cent machines. Look, like, yeah. you change me your idea, bud. Yeah, exactly. But, yeah, yeah, looking at you walking yeah. past <laughs> fucking throwing yours away because they're weighing <laughs> down the like, pockets yeah. or something. That's all I ever do in those places. a chance of five or here and there or whatever, yeah. or ten or maybe whatever, but that's about it. Like, I'd be there with a money bag full of five cents putting it into that yoke with the tray yoke to push it <laughs> <Yeah>. up. <laughs> but you know what? She Tipping was point. chasing. She was chasing that feeling of winning that money. Like mm. you know, that must have been like the most exciting thing. The whole thing flashing up. Everyone mm. yeah, in the, the casino going get, crazy. And mm. when I get this, now everything's going to be brilliant. Yeah. Then she gets it. Everything sure. wasn't brilliant. Yeah. All the slot machines over in Vegas now are all electronic, so you can't trust them really. Like yeah, most, yeah. They're surely programmed to fucking uh, mm. give you small, one small little win to keep you addicted, yeah. and then yeah. you go and lose everything. Probabilities, after. Mike. Yeah. That's what it'll pay out on. Like the, they've, they've always what been they programmed. Take in. Mm. They've always been programmed like that. Mm. Like, but sure, even them claw machines are like that, aren't they? They're a prick yeah. of a thing, man. Did you ever see the claw when it goes down, the claws up? It doesn't even catch. Yeah, properly. yeah, yeah. It just stays uh, light. Then when they take in such amount of euros. No. It then it'll come down and it'll claw properly. No, I still never saw it. Like if I was a fucking claw machine, it'd be coming down. I'd be fucking. Yeah, we're mm-hmm. trying like. Squeezing like. Yeah. Well, yeah. Do you remember the night we wrote there and we scammed it because it was scam- hanging. Oh, it was out, hanging at the edge. Yeah, yeah. If I ever, way. if I ever see them teddy machines, like and there's a teddy kind of poking out near the edge, that's the only way I'll play them. Otherwise, yeah. you're not getting yeah. them. Like, yeah. not a time. hope. They have to be fucking filled up to the max, nearly yeah. fizzing out over the top. Yeah. Like, be, like if you see a teddy bear in there that you like, you might as well just walk to the nearest shop and buy that teddy bear. Yeah, it's going to be cheaper. Like rather than throwing forty quid into a machine for a fucking three euro teddy bear. Yeah. And I was in there a few days later with the lads and I said the same thing to him. We got one or two from it. But behind it all, there was about 40 euros just for two four euro teddies. Yeah, you know yeah, yeah. I mean? Making Man. fools out of people there. Yeah. Fools. Anyway, I suppose we better talk about the King. Gypsy King is back on the scene. I was hoping we wouldn't get to that. Why? Give a oh, fuck not a fan of his, if he is won it? or not. Like, I mean, why he did anyway. I, Man. I know he did because I see nothing but it all over the place this morning. Fair I had to stay up to watch it. Last night was a good all night for scraps. Now there was UFC on first and then switched so off all the boxing. So all these pussy licking paid off, did it? When he oh, came yeah. out with that statement last week, I just said, enough's enough now with this. I just couldn't. I lost total interest. What was that? Did you say something about pussy licking? Yeah, he, he said, said he was doing it to strengthen his jaw. Oh, yeah. Ah, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, come on, like. That would probably work. <laughs> I had a screenshot of it to fucking... Um, to talk about here, but I forgot all about it. Ah, it was to strengthen his jaw muscles. Did you yeah. see at one stage it looked like he licked fucking Wilder's blood he did didn't he 
Did he? Yeah, Did he? like they were in like in a huddle and there was all blood down the side of Boiler's neck and everything and he was like, like that with his tongue and then it looked like he licked a bit of his blood. And like Jesus. the commentators now said it, like they were like, "Did he just taste his blood? Yeah. That, what is going on?" And all this, like, Jesus how does he not Christ. know Wilder doesn't have hepatitis B or C or? You know what I mean? You just don't know, like. That's bomb. Yeah. That way. is bomb. Even right. if his blood but is brand new to the mint. What a wrong? fucking what a performance, though. It's what a fucking comeback story. Like in fairness, for yeah. him to come from where he was to where he is now, it's just fucking amazing. Mm. He should have done it the last time. Like he got robbed the last time they fought. But uh, he, he made sure he wasn't getting robbed this time. He wasn't leaving it to the judges. Like, mm. <clears throat> Yeah, I, I flicked fucking. through. I found a video of it this morning. I didn't stay up for it, but I found it on YouTube, I think, this morning. And um, I was just flicking through, just watching for good bits because I don't have that much of an interest, but I fucking you know, see Tyson Fury around the place like, yeah. on Facebook and all that shit. So I wanted to see, but I fucking he fucking stumbled him a good few oh, times. Oh, man. He, he could have finished that fight a lot sooner. And that's why I was saying like I admired his patience, man, because... Someone like Wilder, he's just always dangerous, especially when you think he's hurt and draw. If he starts to think that he's hurt and he's he's about to be finished, he's going to try and land that one big shot. Like he's mm. always going to have that in him. Like, do you know what I mean? So you have to always be careful right up to the last second. That's like, the tree monkeys. And there was so many fucking times there where, um, <laughs> that's the tree monkeys. <laughs> there were so many times there where like he had fucking Wilder hurt and he was wobbled he, like he could barely stand he was holding mm. onto the ropes and everything to keep himself I up I could see that he was he kind, kind of backing fell, away a good bit yeah he, he fell over a few times it was more of like a push and he went flying and landed mm. on his arse and shit so most fighters would be like he's hurt and they go rushing in for the finish like and then get caught with a big right hand on the way in mm. but Fury was obviously way too fucking experienced and too clever for that he just took his time took his time and then eventually just fucking his corner threw in the towel like that's Wilder's corner admire, yeah. quit like yeah that's what I admire the training and everything he did for it yeah, yeah like even, some even the fact that. he lost about 8 stone or something yeah. like even if a person just does that I'm like whoa well, fucking hell like mm. I admire your dedication your determination know, man, but to turn but around to fucking and do that he's having sex all that amount of times and I, he's licking yeah, but what's jealous wrong now with that? Like, so mad jealous, jealous is. Is. <laughs> but what's, what's wrong with that like it'd be worse if he was going around you know it'd be worse if he was getting into the news for fucking saying you know saying things that's not right to be saying or whatever but right to be yeah, saying there's nothing wrong with having sex like, but who he's, says he's, like I do he's a married man yeah the laws he's not talking about riding around and fucking yeah drunk. I know that but still you don't talk about you don't air your dirty well, if it's, ah, you do what about the other boxer who said he was going to go home and break his wife's hip <laughs> yeah that was brilliant if it's, yeah. um, <laughs> if it's part yeah, of your people laughed at what he said but he also also people cringed for his wife like you know what I mean nah. to make a show of her like ah, that nah. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah this fucking guy yeah. <laughs> nah fucking oh, um, brilliant anyway I didn't hear any of that but like I'd most of what he was saying, he was talking about like his unusual ways to prepare for fights and shit. Like he's basically saying that he doesn't follow the old fucking old traditions, yeah, like of not having sex. And you all remember that shit, the like. the one that we were talking about here that he's just wanking loads yeah, of times every day, wanking like, seven times so a day. He, <laughs> I think that's fucking very good. Like. Yeah, <laughs> but you don't know then if he's just saying that for the laugh, troll yeah. another fighter, so they might try it. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I do shit like that. If I was a world champion, people ask me, "What's your secret?" I'd be quite yeah. imagine that I'd have all the Cocoa fighters pops. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> all the boys on Snapchat, yeah. all the other fighters coming up, like, oh, just heading to the gym now, gonna have my Coca Pops before I go on. You'll be <laughs> rolling at it. And you're there, you're there, doing, just gonna have my morning Coca Kellogg's Frosty. And you're just fucking there with the spoon, just putting up your mouth, and you stop recording, put them away. Yeah. It's not yeah. really Kellogg's like, Frosties, they give me the eye of the tiger. Yeah, and make them <laughs> <Yeah. them> feel <laughs> grand. <laughs> yeah. Mm, yeah, this is the secret to get that eye of the tiger. But yeah, Frosty. you could just say anything, like, like this yeah. is what I do, lads. I just caught my body in Vaseline every night before I go to sleep. <laughs> yeah. And that gives me the edge that oh. I need. <laughs> but, yeah, I don't know. Like, he could be fucking making the news ah, for worse things, in fairness. Like, you know what I mean? I know that, but still. See, Russell just has decided he doesn't like him, so whatever he says is wrong. Yeah, I never no said I didn't what. like him. But like, oh, what's he going to be doing next? Building houses for the homeless? <laughs> fuck that. <laughs> like McGregor. Yeah. He like didn't said, build I'm looking most, yeah. for a new victim. Or but like, did, he build him, did he build him himself? <laughs> You're did picking he? the right yeah. man to have a bad <laughs> victim. <laughs> He's picking on the hardest bastards in the world. Russell decides to fucking bully... If fucking he does, McGregor first and out Tyson Fury like. if Fury does yeah. if, if Fury does come out with something like that now Russell will be on here is he a black layer did he do it himself no <laughs> yeah. nah look yeah. useless yeah. cunt exactly, did yeah. he lay the foundations yeah. you swear he was out there fucking mixing the same well <laughs> yeah. fucking um, you're not a cyber bully and what you're doing like am I yeah imagine well, <laughs> imagine one of them took him to court <laughs> <I know>. <laughs> <laughs> Russell in the head well, like. standing on an arm oh, suit yeah. with his head down 
Imagine yeah. Tyson Fury put out a video and he was raw and crying. Imagine he put out a Snapchat and he was raw and crying. Like, I never did anything to that fellow Russell. Yeah. I just came across this podcast. My, my, mental, health, <laughs> my mental health has been not too great. Yeah, right? exactly. <laughs> my self-esteem has been through the ground. Fuck the hundreds of millions I'm after making. And, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It all means nothing to yeah. people out there if that's what they think of me. Why does that Irish person not like me? Yeah. Like just I get said, pure I admire obsessed. the weight he lost all that. Like, I mean, yeah, it's an amazing story, though, man. What a fucking comeback story. Like, to go from where he that. was to that. Mm. And, man, he fucking, like, it wasn't even close. Like, he just ragdolled Wilder around oh. the fucking ring last night. Like, I am only having something to say in this. I didn't follow none of this over the last few months and all that. I did see the weight he lost and all that. Yeah. All right. yeah. But I have to have something to slag and say about it. Like that's true. Yeah, but he fucking. Care I just. If he wins I love. Loses. I love the way he came out last night, man. Like because I didn't believe any of what he was saying in the lead up to the fight, where he was saying, "I'm going in there and I'm going to stop him this time. I'm going to knock him out." And Alice, I was like, "You're not going to fucking do that. Yeah. You're not going to go in there and have a firefight with fucking Deontay Wilder. Because if he catches you at one shot, that's it. Like, fucking Watch went in and just went punch, after him, man. And he just fucking dominated it. Mm. But yeah, that that fucking um. That shot of Deontay Wilder with his lip all out to the side. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's like that Floyd Mayweather fella. Oh, yeah. That's worse than um, They were slagging guy. Floyd Mayweather. Yeah, 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 yeah. No harm, like, Floyd Mayweather is probably the least punch drunk boxer in history. Mm. Like, the man has only been hit about three times in his life. The dig there that he got, like, was worse than the one that McGregor got off Mayweather. Oh, yeah. Do you remember that picture? Yeah, yeah. They yeah, always look bad. Did you see the one I, I shared last night of Karolina Kowalkiewicz? The, mouth, oh, the foot yeah. in her mouth oh man what a kick like sunk into her face so yeah, do you reckon that he'll get he'll fight Joshua or what? oh I think he'd, he's mad to fight Joshua and I reckon he'll slap the head off Joshua no right? so, yeah. no 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 hold on a minute no I'm weighing in here oh Joshua he likes Joshua I like Joshua why because he's just humble do you know what I mean yeah he mm. seems sound like he does seem humble, and stuff. he seems dead on he does but I think yeah. Fiori will slap the head off him whatever about that 100%. I still have nothing said about him like you know <laughs> Just because he's a fine thing now, Russell is posters and up in his wall. <laughs> AJ, go I like, AJ. I mm. like his attitude. And it's that's the hyper Yeah, he does. Like he does seem attitude. pure sound and the whole lot. Like, do you ever see that video of it where he shows around his apartment? No. And it's just like a normal flat, yeah, like yeah. flats that I've rented in the past. Not even yeah. as nice as flats that he I've lived in. He still lives with his mother in a council flat. Is, is it? Is that what it was? I, think oh, so, I yeah. don't know. He didn't say anything about but his he mother. No but he had, he had a leather couch and like a fake, you know those fake leather couches where they are cracking it's all peeling off and all. It was in bits. Like, and he was like, this is the way I look at it. He was like, it's a, it's just for sitting on it. I can still sit on yeah. it. It's comfortable. So why would I bother getting a new one? Mm. I was like, what the fuck? Do you know this what I think? Millions. I think he's done his homework on how professional boxers has ended up in the past and mm. he said to himself, I don't want to end up like that. Yeah. Yeah. Then yeah. again, though, like... up broke over the big flamboyant lifestyle yeah. and they big out to handle it. And, But he fucking, know? he might have a mansion as well. Like that might have just have been, um, because it was just around the corner from his gym. So yeah. it might have been something that he just uses for training or something when he has yeah. a fight camp. If I was him anyway, I'd definitely have a big expensive recliner. Oh, and yeah, I'd have definitely. my own one as oh, well. Oh, I think it might have been a recliner actually. Oh. Yeah, but a proper <laughs> but one. I'd have my thing. own one seater one as well though. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's just for me. No, I'm allowed to sit yeah, there. Yeah. snap if anyone sits there. Like, yeah, that's the job, yeah. Like, why are you don't sit in my chair, Nana? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Tearing her off my yeah. ankles. Um, DDT and her off the coat. Is there a picture there, Mikey, of Deontay Wilder's fucking costume from last night? Did you see that? No. He came out looking like a fucking Power Ranger. It was a bit oh, yeah. sad now, to be fair. The other fella like, came out um, in that chair, did he? I seen that on Facebook. The other fella. I thought it was brilliant oh, at the yeah, end. Yeah, yeah. The other sports guy. I, I thought it was brilliant at the end when fucking Fury and all were singing. I just oh, thought yeah, that's yeah. gas. Like. He often does that. He's Do you know? gas, man. Ah, uh, fucking ah, hell, here. Man. Look at this Who shit. Who came like, out like that? Deontay Wilder. He always comes out with some kind of a mask on, like, or a crown or whatever. But last night, like, you can't even see it all there. He had a full body suit. There you can kind of see Walchie. it. Like, Walchie. From L-O-T-R. What's that? Walchie. Lord of the Rings. Oh, well, yeah, yeah. Speechless. <laughs> While they're stunned. Russell is speechless, lads. <laughs> there's another one of his yokes there. Like, this, they're like fucking... Um, <clears throat> do you ever see like when you're watching the Power Rangers the bad guy comes out yeah, and yeah, he's yeah. supposed to look all like an alien <laughs> yeah, or something yeah, like yeah, it's yeah. clearly just a fella in a suit <laughs> <laughs> he's just like come on Deontay we know that's you bro it's morphing yeah. time is that what he said so when he weird. got the head boxed off yeah Wilder think, Wil Wil think he's slick we know that's you in a costume <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> we fucking um he was backstage, like, dressed up in this, and then he had to do the whole walkout, and then the lads had to take it all off him piece by piece. By the time they got it off him, he was sweating. Ah, like, no wonder. I was like, for fuck's sake. Now we know oh, why he lost. That's why he lost. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He lost because he got the head slapped <laughs> off him. And did did Fury come out with the throne, yeah? 
Yeah. Uh, for, for Did you see what it cost for forty thousand for the drone for the for the costume? Oh, oh, Wilders. Oh, oh look. that's ah, for fuck's sake. That's disgusting, man. Disgusting. <laughs> See, that's why I like Andy <laughs> Joshua. Because he wouldn't come out like that. He just come out the box and that's it. So you like every other box or something. Have you ever seen Anthony Joshua coming over with his fireworks displays yeah, and the whole lot? Like. That's done by the actual event. <laughs> they were big free. Age of <laughs> lit up in flames. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Fuck it, man. In but fairness, in fairness, the, like, McGregor doesn't come out with the costume on him. So. He just walks out. Yeah, he comes out with the biggest mask anyway. You know what I mean? How? The, the image he portrays. Yeah. <laughs> it's lovely. <laughs> ah, sure. Ah, look. Yeah, fucking. Oh, we all have our, our preferences and all that. You don't have preferences. You just have people that you prefer to dislike. Yeah. Because if you had preferences, you'd be constantly Did animal. You, what are you saying? I'm just negative. And <laughs> yeah. <laughs> towards oh. certain people. So oh. if, like, I'd say something now, if you had one or two or three people that you really, really like, but you have two or three oh, people I'm that you really, really hate. <laughs> like, I'm a humanitarian. You're not. I see like, you meet loads of things. Yeah. Talk shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm more down to earth, you know, and I, I like people when they're humble and. Yeah, no, so you like Kendrick Lamar? Is that what you were trying to tell me? <laughs> Who's he? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I like. Yeah, I like people being humble as well. But at the same time, man, when it's something, to, someone like a fighter, like I've always been a Mayweather fan. I love a bit of that shit as well. Like, draw, I'm the best. Fuck you, no one can beat me. All that. I but love that's, that. Like, that's it's, it's, trash it's, talk. Yeah, it causes a bit of excitement. Yeah, mm. yeah but that's what McGregor did as well. Like coming out there in a forty <clears throat> grand suit, no, that just says to me, like, mm. I mean, what? If it was me, no, yeah, I'd come out in a Mackenzie you. tracksuit. Yeah, I Trump. don't know why you yeah. bother doing anything. I wouldn't want and to even be, be your thinking. Biggest fan. I wouldn't want to be thinking about anything like that. Like, mm. draw. I just yeah. come out with a fucking robe or whatever, like they always do. Or a balaclava, like fucking who did that? Mayweather. Mayweather. Yeah. yeah. But he had all this now. Uh, the whole few weeks building up to this fight, like he was doing nothing but imaginative functioning and imagining coming out in that forty grand suit, and it's all going to end with me knocking him out in the first round, and it's all going to be this big epic fight. And yeah, but that's a good thing to do, like. Well, is is it? Yeah. Of course it is. Is it really? But yeah, because it didn't work out for him, did it? You Visualiz need to, visualization is very. No, he's just very known good. as an idiot. But if he had won, maybe things would have swung for him in an yeah, all right way. That's with like, the suit, like his, like his. Yeah, he always does it. Look, these are older suits, like, and he always has some kind of a mask and shit, like. But Jesus, like that thing, thing last night just looked. I was just like, he looks like a fucking Power Ranger. Yeah, but um, well, he looks like a fucking an ancient <clears> Japanese. <throat> fucking samurai warrior on that one in fairness man he did all right for himself boy, because like he was he was basically exposed last night like by fury like fury just showed the the difference in skill level between the two of them like he yeah. just had no answer for him in any area like all he all he, the only hope he had was landing that big right hand so Drawn. that was it fury like. was actually wilder than wilder he was yeah, way wilder yeah, way it was wilder. class it was good to see what's call it would you say wilder got a bit complacent and maybe thought that he was going to give Fury I, the same doom he gave him the last time. But he didn't give him much of a doom. Like, Fury outboxed him the whole way the last time up until the fucking 12th round. There was a few little, you know, Wilder had a few little moments, but he basically... He didn't dominate him. Like yeah, Fury won right. about 10 of those rounds, like, and then in the last round you, he put him down. With them suits, he looks like a right dominator. <coughs> know, yeah. Dominatrix. Dominatrix. <laughs> yeah, I'd say, like, Wilder was probably thinking, I put him down the last time, I'm just going to do it earlier this time when I, when I'm, you know, when I have more power and I'm going to make sure he doesn't get back up, blah, blah, blah. But then he wasn't expecting Fury to come after him the way he did like because mm. the last time like everyone the way everyone fights Dante Wilder because he's so dangerous they try to stay away from him hit him move hit him move hit him move they don't want to be too close to him at all so he wasn't expecting that like Fury just fucking rushed him last night mm. <laughs> he just didn't know what to do like he looked so confused in there like yeah, and he just got put away I was Boom just rushing. fucking freaking true did you see the ropes Russell? proper proper 12 <laughs> <laughs> and it was on the fucking canvas as well massive on the oh, yeah. canvas mm. yeah Huh? No. McGregor's doing big things. He still gets his uh, shit in there, don't he? <laughs> of course, yeah. <laughs> so now you have to look at Fury with proper 12 rod underneath him. Like. Ah, sure. Look, this is only for a few minutes here. I won't be looking at the rest of that shit for I get out my life for the rest of the week. <laughs> yeah, but you're going to have <laughs> to be looking at it. You, you do a bit of social media. No, I don't. You do the social yeah, media that you're able to work. On. I just flick <laughs> on. Social and I, feel, I feel sorry for all the people uh, buying into it. All, like, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it's good, uh, look, good uh, research for me. I you know we're looking at how people can be sad and 
fellow. <laughs> Who's been saying that? Jesus. He's very judgmental, isn't yeah. he? If anyone, yeah. likes, if anyone likes something that he doesn't like, you're yeah. sad. Yeah. Why, well, you didn't waste your life on this. You'd be like, you sad bastard. What's that a motorbike? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm sure people judge me for having what I like. 100%. Yeah. <laughs> what, what do, do you like? like? Yeah. Tell us some of your passions in life. Yeah. Uh, nah, they're private, you know. I don't dare ah, my dirty see. So he likes his private pocket. parts oh, and dirty laundry. Yeah. Dirty yeah. laundry, like. So yeah. he's, whatever he's into is obviously something a bit taboo. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. You don't want to talk about it. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. My personality is well known around these parts. Taboo. Is that the section you're going to? <laughs> Emma. <laughs> taboo. Uh, what? Fuck, lads. Um, yeah, Life is fucking... for living, not your own, not for worrying about. Yeah, when when Russell was meant to answer things, he goes, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know? That's what's known as a politician's answer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you're in practice mm. um, or in training. Fucking, do you know what I came across last night? There's a little conspiracy theory floating around out there. I your can't even cheat? remember. What? Your bed sheet? Oh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> but, um, yeah, fucking, there's uh, a lot of people out there saying that Stevie Wonder is not blind at all. What? He can see. Oh, have you lads. seen any of this? No. Oh man! So we have but to retract. He? So we have to retract all them Stevie Wonder jokes that we made over the years. Did we? Mm, oh, I never. Yeah. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. Maybe. Anyway. Just um, just put it in Stevie Wonder can see. Mm, um. Yeah. And has is he YouTube, actually meant to be a hundred percent? Well, blind? yeah, just yeah. supposedly, yeah. As far as anyone has been aware, like for years, and years, and years. Stevie Wonder is full blown blind, like yeah. But you can, but I know you can get, I know you can be blind, but oh, still yeah, have yeah. like eight percent. Yeah, you could be like legally blind, where you can yeah. still have a bit of vision, like that film, legally but blind. There's yeah, <laughs> there's a watch this video here. Look, <clears throat> see what happened? No. So uh, this is a, a video. They're all on stage. Stevie Wonder's up there. Paul McCartney's out front. Paul McCartney, that's his name, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Paul McCartney. Um, he walks. He walks past Stevie Wonder on his way. He bumps the microphone stand. The microphone stand falls over towards Stevie Wonder. Stevie Wonder puts his hand out and catches it. Did he catch it? Yeah, look. Look, look. I can see him going for it, but I can't. He oh, got it, yeah. Look. And then the other fly took it off of him. So we were like, everyone was watching this and they were like, how the fuck did he see that coming towards him? Fuck like, off. Yeah. And there's loads of other videos on there as well of other celebrities saying like, man, I'm telling you for no, a man, fact. That's, the person behind him catches it. It's not. It is, look. It's not. The other person. Look at his hand. The other person, man, is playing the guitar. That's right. Yeah, but why is he look catching hand, so... Look, it's a black hand. Like, no, but it looks like the other fella caught it No, nah, but well. look, he, he reaches but down for it and then somebody yeah. else picks it. Yeah, the other fella yeah, picks it up. the other fella comes in. They try. They, they give him a hand, like, afterwards. See it? Oh, he hits it. The other fella's hand comes arm. up over. Yeah, he puts his arm out like that. It's like you hit it with his arm instead of his hand, is it? Yeah, yeah. like he put his it, it, he put his arm out and it, it caught his arm and then he curled his hand in on top Yeah, he looked like it looked like that it was just very late lifting up from his reaction. Do you know that kind of way? But it looks like he went for it all right, Jack. He yeah, kind of like down. Why, why did he do that? Like, do you know what I mean? But, but then there's there's I a few. I wonder how that happened. Though. There are a few videos out there of um, other celebrities saying that, like, I'm telling you, fucking Stevie Wonder can see. Like, I know for a fact he can see. You know all this shit. He's been fooling people for years and all this. That's just his gimmick. Yeah. There's one there. There's like a whatever the fuck Shaquille O'Neal is doing these days. So he's on some panel or whatever, some show. And he says, like, I think he lived in the same block as Stevie Wonder or they were in the same building anywhere or whatever. And he said he came in one day, parked his car, got into the elevator. He was heading up in the elevator. It stopped on one floor. Stevie Wonder walks in, walks in, looks at him, says, how's it going, Shaq? And press the button for the next floor. Fuck off. Yeah, and the boys were all roaring he's laughing. He's basketball games and everything. Yeah, like, yeah. That's it. They said as well, there's loads of videos out there of him <laughs> following the ball. At these, like he's yeah. going to basketball games and sitting up fucking front to like and they said he's clearly following the ball and watching and all the there, action yeah, <laughs> taking a photo of a Michael Jackson thing there as well yeah there's a picture off. there of him taking a photo of Michael Jackson like and they were like oh, how God. does he know <laughs> go back up yeah. there yeah. Like how does he know where Michael Jackson's even standing there's loads of stuff out there on it like Tell it look at the right? amount oh, of no. breasts he felt over the years and oh man that was another one <laughs> yeah. that's what someone said as well that he had this oh, little no. gag that he used to do when there was women in the studio he'd walk through the studio kind of fast and he'd kind of stumble and grab a woman by the tick and go oh Jesus sorry you know I can't see fuck off he said he used to do it the whole time as a joke so he was said like, it someone was saying it in one of the videos fuck. that I watched yeah he's taking sure, a picture of Michael Jackson the, what's he putting the fucking camera up to he's taking a picture yeah he's putting the camera up to his eyes to take a picture like you yeah. would do so yeah, why would yeah. you bother doing that why would you bother even taking work? a picture like 
Even yeah. if, even if you know, you can, you're never going to see it. What he want for his picture, collection? Especially a picture of his dick. Look where it's aimed. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but that's fucking weird. Has he got a photo album? Stevie Wonder has been fooling us all. I wonder. Stevie I wonder, makes you wonder. He? Huh? One of the biggest names of all time, like. Huh? Yeah. yeah the man funny. is, I was only saying it like not too long ago and all that. He's, he's one of the last, he's probably the last living legend of that era. Like, you know what everyone I else is dead. He started out being a Ray Charles impersonator. And but he just rolled they were saying like the that. same fucking thing about Ray Charles as well. No, that like, back, back when they, that, no, but that he's not blind either. I didn't they were know saying that, like, be back in the day... He wasn't was saying, born blind, I know. Yeah, they were saying, like, what are the odds that these two lads are fucking blind? The two of them can still play the piano and the whole lot, like... But he was saying that back when they started out, it was nearly impossible for a black person to get onto certain shows and all that. They needed to have a gimmick. They needed to have something, you know, different yeah. about them. Because, like, it, even, like, MTV and all that was all white until Michael Jackson more or less forced them to put one of his songs on. Oh, he yeah? Got, he got so big. He was the first black person to be... To have a song on yeah. MTV, like well, 1979, wasn't it? Probably, yeah. But um, it said there a minute ago that um, Lionel Richie is convinced that that he can see. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he was, he was telling the story about did where he, um, did he bet you ring him up? How long is the video? He got I just on, called. He to just say says that he he, he 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 gave um, Stevie Wonder a tape, and he goes, "Let's go listen to it in the car." And Stevie Wonder jumped into the driver's seat and put the tape in, and then he t- started up the car, and he like looked back and started reversing down the driveway. Fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> But I've heard him saying that before, that, like, that that was a little gag that he used to love to do when people call over to his house. He'd be like, oh yeah, sit into the car. And then he'd just start, like, start like he was taking off and they'd shoot themselves. Like, oh, what yeah. are you doing, Steve? You can't see, you know? So I don't know if that's... Yeah. That's fucked up. Yeah, there's a lot of them out there, like the fucking... Um, tell you, tell you, gone home tonight now, very, very... What's, what what's, else is fake in this what's world? What's that other... Um, if Stevie Wonder can see, like... Yeah, the man is an icon. Did you get it? Yeah. An eye can. Oh my god, he's can in here with his yeah. eye. Yeah. And his other eye. Oh, he's two eye cans. <laughs> what is going to be the new joke that is as real as Stevie Wonder can see? Or <laughs> maybe the fact that John Connors is after challenging uh, Brian. Oh, before we go off that topic, though, have you seen fucking Stevie Wonder's Instagram? <laughs> just look up Stevie Wonder. He Instagram. hasn't either. Oh, allegedly. you could probably just get it up there, Mikey, actually. <laughs> Same the oh, yeah, that years. was all a joke. Yeah. yeah. Have you ever have seen Stevie seen Wonder's wife, man? No, he has neither has he. Yeah. Or, or even Stevie Wonder could see that wasn't, uh, do you mm. know? Yeah, yeah. Like I said, we'll have to retract uh, all them now. Nah. <laughs> Little do people know that we're being factual. Yeah. yeah. Stevie Wonder could see that yeah, that wasn't right. Look at his Instagram, the one. though. But oh, no, it's no. going to be that's as true as Stevie Wonder can see. Oh, that's the new no, one. No, it's not oh, that that's one. A, a, that's <clears throat> a fucking fan account or something. There's, well, I suppose. Um, Stevie Wonder Official, I think. Yeah, that one. Stevie Wonder. That official. That one. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sure. <laughs> Mike is looking to see what's wrong here. <laughs> that's his fucking Instagram. Scroll down. <laughs> it's not Lord, Mikey. That's it. <laughs> Are you waiting for the Lord? <laughs> <laughs> Mike is waiting for the Lord. All, all, the, up, all the pictures Stevie Wonder uploaded are just black. That's a joke, one, I don't know. It is, it? obviously. Yeah. It's just a, yeah, they're all just black squares, like, so that's oh, what his photos right. are. For fuck's sake. <laughs> 2000. So, yeah, it's mad. And do you know what else as well? Do you know where a lot of this came from as well? Quincy Jones. So, Quincy Jones yeah, yeah. is the old legendary fucking. He, he wrote with everyone. Of Michael Jackson songs, yeah. isn't it? <clears throat> I don't think he wrote any songs, did he? I tell you, he was a producer, a producer and shit like yeah, Motown well, and shit like that. Yeah. But he's worked with everyone, all the biggest names ever. Like he's kind of worked with all of them. He's just a legend. Like, but he did some mad. Um, people might actually want to look it up. He did a mad interview where he's eighty five now, yeah. and it's like he just has no fucks left to give. Like mm. he just went to town on everyone. Everyone yeah. asked me what he was like. Oh, that son of a bitch! Why are you even talking about him? I oh, let me tell you a story about him and all this kind of shit. Like, and he just went in on everyone. Like, yeah. he said. Marilyn Brando was gay and he, true, he had right, sex right. with my father. What's his name? <laughs> <laughs> Lionel Richie. Yeah, Lionel. No, <laughs> fucking comedian. Oh, Richard Pryor. Richard Pryor. Richard yeah. Pryor. Yeah. He had sex with Richard Pryor and Your Marvin Gaye. Yeah, <laughs> he's my father. Marvin Gaye. <laughs> Marvin Gaye, yeah. <laughs> apparently, yeah. Apparently, uh, he was with the two of them. And, uh, At the same time? Um, well, I don't know, at different times probably. But um, yeah, apparently fucking, so what's his name? I knew Marvin was gay. Yeah, maybe he was trying to f- hide I back didn't that. Know, I didn't know he anything He was trying to hold that, back that feeling for so long. Yeah, I couldn't, I didn't Do even. Do you reckon that's why Marvin Gaye's father shot him? Did he? No, son of mine be gay. Did he? Yeah. Didn't know that. Is that what he did? Is yeah. he did? 
Can yeah, fucking shoot him today? Um, <laughs> Richard, <laughs> Richard Pryor, though. Yeah. They were saying as well, like, people were talking about Richard Pryor, and they were saying, like, did you ever see the roast of Richard Pryor? Yeah. Man, if you haven't seen that anyway, it's on YouTube, go watch it. Mm. He's a funny bastard. He just, you know the way, usually in a roast, they roast the person who's being roasted, and then yeah. he gets up at the end, and he just goes through everyone. He fucking slaughters them all mm. at the end. But, um... So the turns, thing about he, this here <laughs> now. Yeah, yeah. He turns around to one fella, and he says, this fella here, he says, he was with me when I fucked my first faggot. That's what he yeah. says. Yeah. And he was like, and he's been hanging it over my head ever since. He said, so I just said, I come up and say it. He all know before he fucking says yeah. it and all this shit. Like, Jesus Christ. And then he says something about like, yeah, I fucked my first fag in a few years ago or something. He goes, I would have married him, but he had to go away to get an operation done. <laughs> <laughs> so everyone was just roaring laughing, like, but apparently it was fucking true. Like, yeah. Yeah, it's mad shit. But yeah, fucking Quincy Jones anyway is airing everyone's dirty laundry yeah. out. Fuck. Just, he's told mad shit about loads of people. But now, see, like, they have... Uh, they can deny it now because they can say, oh, sure, he's seen I know and he's 85. That's what people are yeah. saying already, yeah. How much of this can we, you know, but like a lot of what he said is fucking seems to be true. Mm. Jesus. So, um, look up the old Quincy Jones Yeah, uh, but look up Marvin Gaye there because I think he got shot by his father. I don't know. I, d d I don't know. I might have got it mixed <laughs> up with someone else, but I'm might pretty have been sure a dream he what did. You had. The listeners can tell us whether he did or not. Will we go into this? Yeah, sure. what's the story about it? I know, it Walsh so, is mad to get onto it. Actor John Connors uh, challenges Brian McFadden to fight after bizarre Twitter spat. Mm -hmm. So John Connors is the fella who shot Nidge at the end of Love Hate. Mm. Yeah. Um, but what it was about, yeah, so actor John Connors challenged Brian McFadden after the pair found themselves in a bizarre spat on Twitter. The Love Hate actor and former Westlife man initially fell out over their opinion on an Oscar women Oscar winning Parasite what Oscar winning film Parasite before trailing playground <coughs> barbs on Friday evening the row started after Brian McFadden retweeted comments made by Donald Trump about this year's best picture winner the US president qu is quoted saying how bad were the Academy Awards this year did you see it the winner is a movie from South Korea what the hell was all that about <laughs> Trump said that <laughs> yeah <laughs> he's a fucking lunatic man and Brian McFadden shared it or retweeted it and said <laughs> we were all thinking the same so obviously then that's what John Connors chimed in on that <laughs> Just so he wants say. to fight Brian McFadden now go down a bit Mikey see. Uh, but Cabo gangster star Connor Connors took Exceptions to McFadden's comments saying Parasite was a fucking masterpiece or an F star star king masterpiece. Then he took to Brian, took aim at Brian, Jesus Christ, saying, <laughs> You don't know good music, never mind films, stick to the dodgy harmonies. Oh, the sake. boy's life crooner responded with a cutting jive of his own, saying, I've been making music and touring for over 21 years. You played yourself in Love Hate and you think you're Russell Crowe. <laughs> <laughs> I read that a second ago before you got onto it and I was like, I thought, I read it as you played yourself. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you played yourself. Yeah, but like, I'd say that's what he means. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. If, just because he's a traveller, yeah, he, he played, played a traveller in Love like, Hate, yeah. so that's probably what he's fucking trying you to say. You think you're Russell Crowe. He's oh. very good, I think. I, he's a good old actor. After like phone, Russell, he's very fucking him. Yeah. Text him once again. No, no, I just uh, got to confirm there that Marvin Gaye was shot by his father. Oh, yeah? Yeah. He said, you'll be gay by name, but not by nature. <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> Marvin Gaye, huh? Ah, uh, look at this. We're all there. Yeah. Fucking. His middle name is. is. Look at that. Yeah. Look, Russell is missing out on this. What is it? <laughs> He said, you think you're Russell Crowe, right? Brian McFadden said. Yeah, he meant Carey. No, you're not looking at it properly. But your man in below goes, uh, replying to Brian McFadden and John Connors, bet you, John, can spell Russell Crowe correctly, though. <laughs> Do you not notice he <laughs> yeah, spelled it yeah, wrong? Yeah, like? I know, yeah. Who spelled it wrong? Fucking Brian McFadden. Sure? He put it, look, R-U-S-S-E-L. Oh, right, yeah. Fuck Everyone sick. makes Lower that mistake. R as well. They always forget the... Yeah. Hardly anyone uh, can spell my name. But if you fucking... If you're calling someone out and slagging them, you have to fucking make sure you, you spell everything spell right. Yeah, yeah. You know but I mean? that's what makes me laugh to them, man. You have smartphones. All you have to do is type in the first three or four letters of any word. I know. Yeah, yeah, but it's, always, it's an unusual name, though. Russell? Yeah. yeah. It's fucking it was when I was a child, I know, because I hated the fact I was called it. <laughs> but then, as I get older now, more and more people are turning out to have that name. I've never heard anyone. Miss Russell Crowe, I knew. <laughs> no, I've known <laughs> loads of Russells. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Uh, mm. And it's funny as well because um, I know a few Russells and they were all red haired. Oh, yeah. And that's yeah. what Russell means. That's the like, origin of the name, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it Russell, means red haired, yeah. It's means, French. Uh, red haired youth or something. Is that yeah. anything to do with Jack Russell? And that'd be funny, you know, like, but not the way they are, like kind of ginger and white, most know, of them. Could be. A lot of them. Know, yeah. 
Who knows? A bit of a terror. Terror. <laughs> a terrier. Terror. Do you ever have any nicknames because of your name? Ah, oh, stop, man. Have you got all night here? We'll, we'll do a night of it. <laughs> Give us one or two of them. The job that makes me laugh is the fact when you meet somebody and they hear your name's Russell and they come up with Jack or whatever, yeah. and their face when they think they're so original. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They're like, God, come back to me if you come up with an original yeah. one. People just call you Jack, is it? No, like, like if they Jack say, Russell. like yeah. if they make the, our Brussels sprouts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Russell muscles. Yeah, Russell, the love muscle, all that. Like, yeah. I mean, they're just like, lads, come back to me if you come up with an original. Yeah. I'll even give you a fist bump. Look, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> because I can take a slag. I yeah. can have a slag, you know what I mean? But yeah, don't be thinking like, you're, you're fucking... Not... You're not going to get offended over something like that anyway. No. I fucking heard every every kind of thing you I would say about I thought too much well. of it about it as a child, so when I got older, I just accepted <laughs> it. Oh, no, I'm not in bed crying tonight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I lose this leg, me. <laughs> yeah, most people think my name starts with a U. An awful lot of people spell it. Yeah. I've seen people spell my name, like my name is spelled E-U-G-E-N-E, Eugene, or Eugene, is where we say it. Yeah. But like, people will spell it like U G. I N E and shit like that, just yeah. completely spelled. Eugene. Eugene. Yeah, just Eugene. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know anyone who says it the way you say it. Eugene? Yeah. My whole family does. There's about four four Eugens in my family, like, and that's how we all say it. Like, yeah. well, all my cousins, everyone says Eugene. Eugene. Like, I've heard like Eugene sounds that's, pure. Like, yeah, I've heard of, that. Sounds pure posh. Yeah, I've heard of me. Eugene and I've heard of Eugene, but I've never heard of Eugene. Eugene, yeah. No one really Eugene. calls me that anyway. It's always huge, like. <laughs> Or yeah, stooge. Stooge, uh, stooge. Huge. I think huge. that's the funniest thing ever. <laughs> yeah, I, used to, I used to say it to before, like fucking, um, if someone knew me as huge for a while, like I'd say like, you know, my name is James, like they call me huge for a different reason. <laughs> they don't call me huge for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> All of a sudden. It's like me. I just uh, accepted my name as Big Red. Big Red. Big Red. Yeah, I'm trying to think of the ones I heard. Eugene, Blue Jeans. And it was my <laughs> players to call me Hygiene. <laughs> <laughs> it was just like, could be called worse, I suppose. Hygiene. <laughs> Yeah. Here you guys. Oh what? no fucking yeah. way. Fuck off. It's already time for taking the mic yeah. Jesus Christ. Lord. This night has just dropped it back in the second, boot to the floor. <sighs> Press the clutch after the limiter we were. Time flies when you're talking about potatoes. Time yeah. flies when you're talking bollocks. Well, it's time for taking the Mikey. Taking the this mic, is the part of the show the where this Mikey. This is the part of the show I take a step back the and Mikey. I'm involved in. He extracts Will the you mic. let me do the intro? <laughs> um yeah, Mikey's gonna take the Mikey if you're easily offended. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Have you ever heard of a reverse exorcism? It's when the devil tells the priest to get out of the child. <laughs> oh, Jesus <laughs> Christ. I have heard of that. <laughs> Why are there no pharmacies in Africa? Oh, God. You can't take any pills in an empty stomach. Oh. No. I'm not going to laugh if I don't Bruh. have that involved. What do you call a fat girl with a rape whistle? Oh Jesus! Optimistic. Optimistic. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <fuck's laughs> sake. The Taking the mic. I oh, said that <laughs> in. I oh, <yeah>. oh, <laughs> said that in. Ah, oh, lads, he don't give a fuck. Yeah, no, no. You're only fooling yourself if you think he does. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think as well. Yeah, fucking that ghost ship, lads. The fucking. Oh yeah. Did a wash down the belly cotton. Yeah, oh. just washed up. And where was it? Off the coast of Cork or something? Oh, yeah, yeah, belly yeah. cotton. Thank. Like, First thing that came to my mind when I when I saw it was like, that's your one's husband now coming back to find out that he's been divorced the, whilst he was at sea. Pirate the ghost. Pirate ghost. A fucking ghost ship. This thing was out in the in the sea yeah, for was, two uh, years. It was off the coast of Africa or something that went missing, yeah, was it? It was it was sailing across the Atlantic to Haiti and it ran out of fuel. So the US Navy had to come in and take all the crew off of it. They just abandoned it in the middle of the Oh, I thought ocean. it got hijacked. No, no, they, they just abandoned it and then like two years later the Storm Dennis is after just uh, floated it towards Belly Cotton like Fuck's sake. fell out jogging actually found it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I found a boat. Yeah. <laughs> huge jogging ship. up a lot along the cliffs after the storm and it was just there on the fucking rocks. Jesus like, Do you know Christ. I feel sorry for the owner? He probably had claimed the insurance and all of it. Yeah, yeah, he's oh, probably well, getting a phone yeah. call today. So that, your boat's have to turn up. It's grand. Bit of a dent in the side. but yeah. We'll yeah. tow it up to but, Apple Green now and tow it for the fuel interview. Yeah. Yeah. Some fella put up a rent ladder about it. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! They no, put up. A, is it a case ah. of uh, finders like keepers? Finders keepers. That's what I was thinking. I don't know. There's uh, probably some ancient law now uh, yeah. got to do with the sea. Like, what's the story with um the ship um on one of the Iron Islands? I was actually on it. The one that's at the start of Father Ted, the big yeah, rusty yeah. one. What's it, is there a story behind that? Or? I don't know. I think it just ran aground there years ago. Yeah, or something was, was that? Wasn't it? Wasn't it carrying cotton or something across the sea? Or? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Just, I, just I think it, it just ran aground there and it was just left there. Yeah, I think it's cool. I was on it. I yeah. went down to it and um, there's a big bust 
bust open bit in the side of it, probably what, what made it sink or whatever. Like, yeah. And I went into it and it was all like cans, empty cans of Dutch <laughs> gold and everything smoking. inside it. People smoking. People, yeah, people there was all bits of uh, paraphernalia inside it as well. Uh -huh. So people obviously got into drinking and smoking in fucking like, straight West Coast. And they, stuff. they leave it there. <laughs> oh, is it the West Coast? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like, it is the Wild Atlantic. Where? As soon as that tide now comes up, they'll take it away because do you know how much it would cost if that gets stuck in the ground? How much it costs them to get that taken away? If it 70 stays. quid at least. That's Bob Sweeney, take it away, that. 50 quid. How much? <laughs> yeah, there? 50 euro, 50 A container Bob. ship in Europe there back there a few years ago was coming across, but it hit shallow ground. Mm. So it stuck into the mud. So they had to then take it apart piece by piece to get rid of it, man. It yeah. must have cost, yeah, it probably cost that's about madness. 50, 60 million to get put rid it, of it. Put a hook onto a drone. Pick it up. Yeah, a hook yeah. onto the back of a Toyota Hilux won't be long pulling that fucking yeah. thing out of the water. Good four wheel drive Toyota, boy. Mm, Tear it out of there. Like they were able to cut half. This was a big ship, no, I mean a proper container ship. Was like. it a bigger than the good ship, Lollipop? Like? Yeah. 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 Bigger than that ship. Mm, that's a big how ship. How do you know, Joe? Measure them. Yep. You don't know how big that is. There's no way you can tell. Did you walk along it with your feet like this? <laughs> yeah. One foot in front of the other. And it's meant to be out of part in where it's not accessible. I measured my tacky before. Yeah. My shoe, actually. And it was exactly a foot. So it was like handy. Why shoe? Was it not a tacky? My tacky. Just so for people who don't know what a tacky is. Uh -huh. I just said shoe. Well, my no. trainer. My sneaker. I thought, yeah, I thought you measured an actual shoe shoe and not a tacky. I measured shoe, one, shoe. Of, one of my items of footwear. Yeah. And it was exactly 12 inches. You measured so your like, footwear. What size you? And nine. I'm ten. I thought mine were a foot. I'm nine. Sure, I did. I chat. Sneakers are too. Muppets. <laughs> <laughs> Muppets. Oh, hold on a second. What size are you, Mikey? Twelve. Uh, You're not even no. on the screen. No. <laughs> While she's back in his box. Yeah. <laughs> it's only a myth, I know. Back in her shoe big box. Big yeah, put me, don't put me all the way into the box, though. I might hurt you. Put them shoes back in there. <laughs> <laughs> it's only a myth. <laughs> um, yeah, it is only a myth, sorry. Yeah. Oh, it is, yeah. Admit, admit. Mike, Mike is very small, like. Yeah. To be honest, it is, like. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. So what the fuck were we talking about? Are Boats, we, are we is it about that time already, lads? Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. I must have had something else. I had a few other um, topics there that listeners sent in. We didn't even get a chance to get to them. Oh, Keep yeah. A shout out to shy. one of the lads last week. He told me he loves the podcast. And it was his birthday as well this week. So, Cahill there, he was... Uh, he said he loves the old podcast. And, that. and I forgot to give him a shout out last week. I don't do shout outs. I forget after a day, you know. I've, my brain do be all over the shop. It do be. You know do what they be. say. His brain do be all over the yeah. place. Shout yeah, out to Carl, happy birthday, love, happy. happy birthday. I'd sing you the song now, but we'll get done for co fucking copyright then. Yeah. Nobody the owns the rights to it. How? Nobody owns the rights to thought, happy birthday. Thought they did. Oh, no. We had this conversation before. That's what so. we were talking about before. The last yeah. I heard, Sony bought the rights to it. I thought there was nobody had the rights to it. Oh, no, no. There was a big thing about that, man. All right. Sony, the last I heard, Sony bought the rights to it for like a few hundred grand or something like that. What about if we, is it the words that they own or is it the mel melody and it's the tune? The whole, and the whole lot, I think. I what think it's I think it's the, the the melody of it because it started off with do you remember we still tried to talk about this and Jude went into the whole African thing then oh yeah but it was um two and I think there were white women I think who were working as teachers in Africa in a school and they used to sing this song mm -hmm. every at the end of every day something about tidy up time or something you know, one of these things but they used to sing it in that tune okay same as the happy birthday tune or whatever so then later on they heard people singing it singing the happy birthday thing and someone had copyrighted it. So they took the these two teachers took that person to court and they won the rights to it. Yeah, they proved yeah. like that it was theirs or whatever. So I think it was them. Then the, those two women sold it to Sony or something like that. So everyone, you know, like Hallmark and all these people who make like birthday cards. When you open the card and the yeah, place, yeah, ding, yeah. ding, 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 yeah. fucking, they all have to pay royalties it's, every time. Every it time sounds like cocky boot, <laughs> Yeah, bing, bong, bing, bong. Do you think we right, should right. come up with a new one? Yeah. That's yeah. but that's why people changed it then as well. The happy birthday to yeah. you and all that that's kind of shit. Wonder, like I tell, well, I've heard him sing it, but yeah. it's just fuck. I don't know who wants that. What about the other one, Lisa? It's your birthday. <laughs> Come on. Happy birthday, Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> fucking yeah, I don't know. Funny one, like mm. every Hilarious. every film, every fucking um, TV show where they sing happy birthday to someone, they all have to pay royalties. Like, yeah, everyone, we're them, paying yeah. nothing. Like, we'll come up so, with no one, and anyone over about. 40s will say, yeah, Have a sad birthday. I'll bring allowed? sadness into because they're getting older, they're getting depressed. And are you still allowed no. to use the term happy birthday, though? Yeah, I'm mad about to you, yeah, but is that not the, all the words? Like, yeah, but, it's, but like, you can't sing it in that melody. Happy birthday to you. You, you, you. Stop it. Okay? Get, getting dangerously close now. <laughs> We're going to get a strike on YouTube. Um, yeah, had I anyone else that I had needed to Go say any list. shit to? 
Did you not just have a list? I did, but um, I think I went through that. Oh. Mikey's eating away um, the potatoes, everybody. He need anything. Finish them, Mike. Yeah. Finish them yeah. away there. Yeah, that's pretty much Go ahead with the beef stew, Tato. I'm liking it. Yeah, he's liking it. No. He's feeling it. He's feeling it. Hard it here, Tard. But, <laughs> but, co- but a country man would say that, wouldn't yeah. he? Yeah. He, he did it. No, we, we did it with slices of bread. He did it with two cuts of bread. Yeah. Two cuts, yeah. Cottage. Some cottage. A good, cottage a good heel of bread. Beef yeah. stew. We'd kill the cow in the morning and have him the stew in the evening. Yeah. <laughs> Fresh. Fresh. Up on his back, boy. Bring the um, cow in on his back. Up on his back. <laughs> Ride the cow, kill the cow, and yeah. eat the cow. Up on his back. I take the short tiny man's back. Yeah. And is that it, lads? Yeah, that's about it. That's about it. So. It's, uh, unless any of y'all bastards got something else to say. No. Poof, bastards. Poof, 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 poof. Yeah, so shout out to everyone who was in touch recently. Shout out to everyone who was liking and sharing and all that stuff. Please do us a favor, actually, and go on. If you're, Regardless of where you're listening to this, just go to our YouTube channel and subscribe to The Bastard, mm. will you? Yeah. Because we need to get that number count up so that it'll unlock more features in our account. Do you know what I mean? Yep. So whether you're ever even going to use it or not, just go and subscribe. Subscribe everywhere, sure, for the yeah. crack. Um, other than that, nice one for everyone who signed up to the old Patreon account. True. If anyone else wants to sign up to the Patreon, go to ccpodcast.ie. There's links on there for the Patreon. If you want to make an old donation through PayPal, that's also there. Yeah. And all the links to the our ringtone. social media. You can download the ringtone for free. All our social media, all the platforms that we're on, all on there. ccpodcast.ie. And, and share watches by... Uh, Facebook page out there. He wants yeah. To oh, yeah, yeah. Follow me on everything. If you, Walsh yeah, Unit. like that's it's a nine. Like, if you know about Walshy and you know about Walsh Unit, why haven't you liked his page? Yeah, you like, I guarantee you, like, there's so many people out there that have been, oh, those Pepper videos are very good. Mm. Do you like the page? No, why not? They're not cool. Yeah. That's why. just like they're it. They're not cool. Who's it's not cool? free. Then whoever's not like yeah, it. if you don't like the page, you're not cool. cool. Like, not cool. Yeah. We're, gonna, we're gonna be roaring after each other when we yeah. see you walking around. When we thought they were cool, no, yeah, like I even I noticed a while ago that my on my friends list that there's 150 people I was friends with that haven't liked my page. And whereas a lot of the people that I am friends with are friends with me because they laugh after things that I put up. Yeah, like, yeah. Do you know what I mean? But How dare they? How dare they more laugh at you and but not even like you? People that I fucking see reacting to my posts and liking and commenting and stuff, they only see them because other people put them up. They don't Ooh. actually follow the page. Yeah, but, yeah. So I might be fucking going to 90 people as well that, are, that know me. Yeah. Like, but sure. If yeah. so... Don't follow yeah, but me. But how dare them <laughs> laugh at you and not like you? Exactly. Just, just follow, follow my, I think, I think follow you my can, everything. I, I, think, it. I think you can like a, a Facebook page and kind of unfollow it at the same time, can't you? So e- you, the like is there, but they're not following you. I think so, yeah. I'm, I'm merely sure, because otherwise, why is the two options there? Like yeah. Follow and like? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I think you can you say know, you I like it. I think you can say, like, I like this, but I don't want to be seen it. My new sweet all No, I think if you follow it, you see less. Or something, I don't know what the fuck. Yeah, I, I would have thought, know. no, it was the other way around. I would have thought if you follow it, then that means they're, they're following everything you do. Yeah, maybe. But if they like it, they're just saying that they like it. Oh, they don't yeah. have to see all your no, stuff. Just like. go like it, okay? It's a conversation just, we'll have for next week. Just yeah. Facebook, yeah. Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, um, Instagram, at Walsh Unit. Paul um, If you would like to contact me all for bookings. <laughs> yeah. 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 Sex, sexual bookings. Yeah. yeah. ccpodcast.ie, all right? And we will see you all next week. Thanks very Josh. much. Bye-bye. Good luck.